Welcome back to the Invisible Things. Let's check in with our host, Danny D, and see how he's dealing with the inner thoughts of his brain. Are you trying to focus, big guy? Are you trying to get away from me? Or trying not to think about me? Well, I got news for you. The more you try not to think about me, the more you're thinking about me. This is awful. It is awful. You are awful. You're bad at this. Think about all the other stuff you're bad at, too. Well, I don't want to do that. That's not very constructive. Constructive? You think sitting in a chair with your eyes shut is constructive? What if your grandpa saw you sitting here with your eyes shut saying you're being productive? He'd say, move your little butt and do something with your life. Aw, he was a kind man. But he would say something like that. But I know this is being constructive. Because the more I focus on the self-hatred, the more self-hatred I feel. Why don't you feel some self-hatred because you haven't changed your clothes in weeks? Well, if my brain isn't cooperating with me, what if I focused on my... on my... my heart? Your heart? Are you kidding me? Now you're a hippy dippy silly Sally? You're gonna focus on your heart? No, Mr. Brain. He actually has a solid point here. Hello? Who is interrupting our emotional self-abuse session? Are you the voice of my... The voice of my heart? Hey, Danny D. No, no, it's Bruce Cryer. But I did help create a whole science of the heart. It's called the Heart Math Institute. Wow. My heart has its own math institute. Dan, no, I'm not the voice of your heart. I'm just here to help put your brain at ease about how crucial becoming aware of your heart really is. Oh boy, soon we're going to be talking about the science of unicorns. Hey buddy, why don't you take a back seat so I can talk to Danny D about his heart. I like that. Well, first of all, your heart is much more than a pump. It's the strongest electrical system in your body. It's the strongest rhythm generator in your body and it's the strongest magnet in your body. Wow, my heart's a magnet? You know how when you're really stressed out, you can think stupid, act stupid, even be physically uncoordinated? Heart math figured out that the heart and the emotions are working together. Our heart starts beating in this chaotic rhythm like you're seeing on the graph at the top right now. That rhythm in your heart goes to every part of your body, including your brain. So that's why you act kind of stupid sometimes when you're stressed out or say things you regret. However, HeartMath also discovered that when we're feeling appreciative or happy or peaceful or loving, our heart starts beating in this beautiful, smooth rhythm like you see on the bottom graph where it says appreciation. So our body gets a wonderful rhythm, our brain gets a wonderful rhythm, and life just is so much better. And let me also ask you, have you ever noticed when you're around somebody who's really a kind person or a very grateful person that you feel drawn to them, almost like they're magnetic, right? And the same is true for us. Whenever we can be grateful in life, be kind to someone else, you become a magnet too. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you edit me to look like I'm your heart? Shh, just go with it. Get me out of this shape, please. To feel more magnetic? To feel more coherence with my head, with my heart? But how do I do it? I'd like you to focus your attention in the area around your heart. And now imagine that you can breathe slowly into that area of your heart for about five seconds. Breathe in right now. And now exhale, imagining it can flow out through your heart as you exhale. And breathe in again for five seconds and breathe out for five seconds. That sounds like a lot of work, but I gotta try. There is no way I'm gonna let you do this without judging yourself hardcore. Hardcore judging. Now, as you continue breathing in and out of the area of your heart for about five seconds each way, now I'd like you to focus on some positive emotion. You felt grateful, you felt fun, you felt happy, and just remember how that felt and breathe that in and out through your heart. Oh, sure, try counting to five without worrying about anything. Ah, 
Could you turn the burners off the stove? <sighs> this is not for the faint of heart. No pun intended. Part of why positive emotion is so helpful is that it can shift our perspective. When we find something to appreciate in life, the problems in our life shrink a little, right? Because we realize, wow, there's actually a lot of good stuff in our life, so I won't get overly worried about this problem that I'm facing right now. We see new alternatives. We see more options. La, 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 you're a failure, la, la, la. <clears throat> you know what this isn't? Fun. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> Shoot. I hate breathing. <laughs> I hate it. Can someone tell me why breathing is hard? Why is this hard? Yeah, it's gonna take some practice. Like you said, your body and brain have been working a certain way for most of your life. It takes a little bit of practice to build the new habits, build those new circuits in your brain. Be patient, it's gonna come. Thank you, voice of my heart. No, <laughs> I'm not, but good luck. Good luck. This has been The Invisible Things, a fireside chat with Danny D.